Hello and welcome to Analog Electronic Circuits. My name is Shanti Pawan and I am a professor of electrical engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology in Madras. Analog is everywhere and a testament to this can be found by just reaching out into your pockets for the phone. A modern cellular phone has multiple sensors which need interface electronics to convert signals from analog to digital. And such interface electronic circuits need amplifiers, filters and data converters. An RF transceiver is also an integral part of such a system. Let me motivate this course. Analog electronics is a subject that people love to hate. And the reason for this is most likely the following. When you open up an analog circuit textbook, circuits are almost always given in their final form. There is very little intuition on how this circuit came up in the first place. To give you an analogy, learning an analog electronics by looking at the final circuit and analyzing its properties is equivalent to learning a new language by reading up a dictionary. There are all these words and their meanings and they are all perfectly valid. However, a much better way to learn a language is perhaps to read a storybook or watch a movie where you see words coming together in action in a sentence and sentences coming together to form a coherent paragraph. Similarly, we would like to build analog circuits from the ground up and remove the fear or the general feeling that analog electronics is black magic. At the end of this course, you will not only understand how a complicated circuit like this came about, but you will also be able to understand how to analyze its properties. So what is this course all about? This course is a ground up introduction to analog electronics. The emphasis is on building intuition and it is intuition that helps you see why a new topology for instance makes sense. It bolsters your confidence and intuition also allows you to create new circuits on your own. This course needs no prior knowledge of device physics. The only thing you are expected to know is calculus and mathematics at the level of class 12 as well as a basic circuit theory class which you have no doubt done. So who should take this course? undergraduate students who had no prior exposure to this area, graduate students who have undergone a course before and who thought the course was terribly difficult may want to take this course to build on their intuition. Digital engineers who want to learn analog electronics will benefit from this course. A broad set of topics that are covered in this class are the following, small signal analysis of nonlinear circuits introduction to the transistor and how to hook it, hook it up to make functionally useful circuits, basic building blocks and negative feedback and finally we will come to the derivation, analysis and properties of a two stage operational transconductance amplifier and a few of its applications. Thank you all and have a great time learning.